Hi, everyone. I'm Jyoti. I work as a product EPM in Facebook in the enterprise engineering team. And today I'm here to share with you all the different types of TPM roles that are there at Facebook. Technical program management across Facebook is existing since quite some time in different teams. And there are multiple different series, which will tell you about what is technical program management at Facebook? What are the different kind of interview panels that need to happen? If uh, you all need some kind of background, definitely look at you know Deep T Rao's video series. And this is an extension to that. She's gone ahead and shared series about what does technical program management mean at Facebook? What does the interview process look like? And this is an extension to that in terms of the different types of TPM roles at Facebook. Just to give you an overview, being a TPM at Facebook means driving impact and delivering measurable results. When we say delivering impact, it needs to be measured. And at Facebook, we are a highly data-driven company. So across different products and infrastructure teams, we want to make sure that whatever TPMs are trying to drive is measurable in terms of the metrics and is continuously delivering high impact to those teams. These could be different teams from hardware, network deployment, product releases, performance, and TPMs are known to strive for flawless execution against company-wide goals. TPMs also cross-functionally are aligned with Facebook's core values. I've just listed them here for your visibility again. Being bold, focusing on impact, the most important one. Moving fast, Facebook is a huge organization and it wouldn't be possible to deliver all that it does without moving fast. Be open and build a social value, specifically building connections around the globe. That is the mission that Facebook is striving for, and we are trying to build social value through all our efforts across products or infra teams that we are trying to work here. We dive deep into the different types of TPMs. And like I mentioned, there are two different series of what, who are TPMs, what is the interview process. If you are interested, definitely take a look at the Tira's LinkedIn videos through product school, and we'll dive into the type of TPMs. At Facebook, there are primarily three main types of TPMs a product TPM, infrastructure TPMs, and Facebook Reality Labs TPM team. Uh, we refer to them as FRL. So if you're looking at anywhere, you know, about FRL TPMs, that's what it stands for, the Facebook Reality Labs. We'll delve into each one of these more into detail and answer some questions towards the end. The first one is product TPMs. So the first basic question, what do product TPMs do? Um, there are primarily three different axes on which they specifically um, support based on different business needs. Like you've seen leadership, program management, and technical expertise. These are the three axes which define all the work that product PMs do. They need to basically able to use their technical strengths to work with the leadership internally within the team, as well as up outside of the team in terms of external leadership to understand what is the strategy for the product? What is the strategy that the team is trying to work towards? What are the goals? And in addition to that, there is a lot of program management skills that are needed. These could be across multiple teams, multiple products. And um, this is a combination of leadership and program management, which is highly required and a prerequisite for all the product TPMs across at Facebook. In addition to the two axes that I mentioned, leadership and program management, we need to have technical expertise. TPMs are expected to dive deep into the system design and architecture and become a subject matter expert to help scale the product usage. They need to interact closely with the engineering team to understand the problems that they are trying to face, the bottlenecks that they are experiencing, and propose new solutions to those bottlenecks and help them scale further to be able to achieve the goals in a very short frame of time. And what are the different types of teams, you know, that need to engage with product TPMs? Perhaps that might be a question which might come to your mind. So whenever any team is in need of an owner to drive, you know, a technical product platform or a long-term technical exception initiative, that is when the teams reach out to product TPMs team uh, to request the help of a product TPM. They work very closely with PMs, EMs to go ahead and deliver high-scale impact to highly complex technical projects. We'll dive into different product areas just to give you a few examples and a flavor of what do product TPMs do at Facebook. The first one is a, a sample of product platform or infrastructure. Uh, here I'll take, I've taken an example of the metrics platform, which is a unified platform for building and managing any paid or organic metrics to ensure customers have consistent, accurate, and reliable metrics. 
a metrics platform in addition to a product tpm had many engineers pms ems and many other uh, disciplines you know on the team but a product tpm co-owned the platform with the engineering team and ensured that all the metrics across the company are consistent and discrepancies are detected quickly before customers find them as a result of the involvement of a product tpm the metrics platform is now scaling across multiple external scaling products including instagram and has been used um, for customers to make sure that the complete platform is used across products thereby increasing the operations and efficiency another example of the product areas where a product tpm is helpful are cross product initiatives one of the access that if you recollect i had shared is the xfn initiatives the cross functional initiatives and these are cross product initiatives which means that tpms as a product tpm they need to work across different product teams to understand what are the priorities they need to work with the business teams to understand what are their priorities and cross align them and define the common goals for both across the product teams as well one of the example that i've taken here is the buyer and seller care team which is basically the critical component of any commerce platform we need to make sure that it includes the protection for the buyers and the sellers and as well as strong customer support is provided to the buyers and the sellers a product tpm led the strategy and drove execution to scale the purchase protection to instagram shopping responsiveness which not only just increased the merchants response to the support system but it increased the engagement of these merchants by 86% which was up 50% from the previous half so you see that when product tpms are involved in a team they amplify the impact for the product teams and this is one example of a cross product initiative led by a product tpm the third one under product tpm is specialized technical product areas so there are multiple product areas like machine learning ranking and apis which require deep understanding of the technology and the industry one such example is the search internationalization which is a complex problem to solve the product tpm identified high impact problems as part of the search internationalization team the product tpm needed to be aware of the different ml models that are part of the search internationalization search internationalization internationalization team the product tpm um was part of the search internationalization team and which is a complex problem to solve the product tpm identified high impact problems inspired by cross team collaboration this needed the product tpm to be passionate and aware about the different geographies the different languages what are the different results and the issues associated with the ge different geographic regions and the language mechanisms that are available and how they can be improvised over a period of time launching different experimentation models with the engineers and driving success over a period of time the product tpm successfully got over all these obstacles and has gone ahead and improved this which is being used across the different products at facebook how are basically product tpm set up for success perhaps that is one question which is very generic but yet at facebook being part of a product tpm team we need to be really specific about measuring our success in addition to basically empowering the planning and road mapping for product areas tpms are encouraged to participate in relevant meetings to gain the context not only they are expected to drive product reviews check ins and planning meetings for ownership areas but they are expected to work together at the same time divide up ownership areas for pms tpms and ems and just for clarity pms are product managers and ems are engineering managers these are two different disciplines in facebook and tpms work very closely with both of them to make sure that they can amplify the impact it's also really important to have clear communication and ownership areas and to be identified as the primary poc on the team so everyone knows that when they need to leverage a tpm whenever in terms of prices or for regular planning and execution strategy so the success of a tpm is definitely measured in terms of the goals that are drived by the complete product team and at the same time measured throughout the half there are certain myths about product tpms and i've just listed a few of them here tpms are project managers definitely in terms of managing projects uh, tpms need to wear the hat of a project manager uh, 
But 3PMs are also technical leaders and they help define and build the products that require technical knowledge and heavy cross-team collaboration. Another myth, TPMs only scale EMs and PMs. While TPMs do work very closely with PMs and EMs, but they scale and amplify the impact of the product. And they identify risks, opportunities for growth through internal and external partnerships. Sometimes uh, it's heard, I have heard many a times that TPMs are crisis managers. Whenever a product or a platform is in trouble, raise a hand and call a product TPM and things will be working flawlessly. While that is true to an extent, but that's because TPMs have leadership and program management strengths and they are best positioned to go deep into technical product areas as subject matter experts. So they definitely do crisis management in addition to amplifying the impact of the product teams. One of the other myths and one of the final ones that I'm aware of is that TPMs are release managers. Not just a release manager, but they drive solid execution by knowing the product and solutions enough to prioritize roadmaps and identify partner dependencies. So though release management is part of the hat which the TPMs wear during product execution, but that is just one of the flavors of the multiple other areas that TPMs work with the technical teams to amplify the impact. This is all that we have covered about product TPMs. We'll move on to the next section, which is infrastructure TPMs. So infrastructure TPMs, they are infra TPMs for short in Facebook. So whenever you hear someone, hey, I'm an infra TPM, or there's an infra TPM opening, this is more about infrastructure TPMs. What do infra TPMs do? They maintain and advance Facebook's infra teams in strategic ways, managing engineering productivity. And this is more towards the backend and supporting the network of the complete Facebook infra team. Uh, what do we mean by infra? This is about the data centers, capacity planning, the resiliency, the reliability of the network to ensure that all the products which are being used across the globe by billions of users by Facebook, uh, they basically are able to use the products in a smooth way. And there is a network and a backbone team which is enabling that. And infra TPMs are part of those teams. They are part of the cloud infra problems and solutions. Some of the engagement uh, models that infra TPMs work on are listed out here. Primarily, we'll go through each one of them. The first one is defining XFN collaborations and defining the metrics and roadmaps across different teams. So this is cross-functional collaboration is needed to understand how basically uh, intra TPMs can impact the metrics across different XFN teams. The second one is product or platform subject matter expertise. There is a product and platform direction which needs to be strategized across, and product and intra TPMs play a heavy role in doing that. They define the metrics and roadmaps and they help prioritize across the different intra teams what are the different features that, that will increase the productivity and the operations across, so on and so forth. They are domain subject matter experts where they understand the technical depths of systems and solutions, and they understand how the system is being used to assess the needs and the development on a gradual basis. Because the products are evolving on a continuous basis, a number of users are increasing on a regular cadence. These are ongoing requirements which need to be fulfilled. The engagement model also involves organizing the chaos across and getting into the technical depth of domains. Because Facebook encourages everyone to move fast, there is a lot of organization which needs to happen in a short frame of time and in a lightweight model. So the engagement model definitely encourages to identify the gaps across the systems that are there in a short frame of time and fix that. Um, that is the final one, basically, through your deep technical depth in more than one domain. So this building out multiple skills across multiple domains and cross-functional collaboration. The final one is implementing. All the planning, organizing, fixing is great, but uh, it is incomplete without the implementation phase. And there are a lot of components that get into the implementation phase. We have to execute, communicate, report, track the metrics, coordinate the XFN meetings, scoping the requirements, managing the tasks, building a plan so that all of this can be visible to everybody upstream as well as within the team making sure that the goals are defined, which can be measured. That's really important at Facebook, measurable goals. Identifying the risks, laying out the dependencies, and making sure that the team has the resources that it needs on time to be able to deliver the impact and the goals that have been defined for the half and throughout the halves. 
The infrared EPM team is comprised primarily of seven different sub teams. Um, they, I've just listed them here. There's a production network TPM, foundation solutions and connectivity TPM, which is also called as FSC TPMs, the core systems TPM, data TPM, infra product TPM, and this includes privacy, security, infra as well, AI TPMs, dev infra, and core data TPM. Though this session might not delve into the details for each one of them, but I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of the different sub teams that are available in infra. In case you're interested in any specific one, there are different uh, openings for these, and then you can definitely be aware that which specific areas are of interest. I'll touch into a flavor of each one of them just to give you a high level view of what these TPMs do. The production network TPMs own end-to-end -end XFN network programs for the operability, reliability, efficiency, and scalability. Facebook maintains its own data centers, and there is a lot of um, host networking, networking security and hardware planning, and making sure that the reliability is in place, the metrics are driven, delivery engineering is taken care of, and there is infra network in engineering. Like you see, there is a traffic infrastructure which needs to be constantly monitored on a regular cadence. Any issues which arise would need to be resolved. And that needs a deep understanding of the complete production network. Production network TPMs are highly skilled at this and ensure that the backbone uh, for the network on which Facebook products are running are running seamlessly and maintained. The next one is the foundation solutions and connectivity TPMs. This is primarily divided into three pillars. One of them is capacity planning. The other one is connectivity programs. And the other one is hardware, which looks into the compute, storage, networking, and power. We have core systems TPM within the infra teams. And they are responsible for ensuring and building that standardized tools and patterns for developing, for the developer streams are improving their productivity and operations on a regular cadence. They help engineering create and deploy services easily and efficiently. By doing that, they are really making sure that the engineers focused on building the products versus um, for making sure that anything that is related to the services or the backend or reliability, those kind of tools are uh, supplied by the core systems TPM teams. This is an interesting angle, the infra product TPM. So we looked at product TPMs and we are looking at infra TPMs. Um, what do infra product TPMs do? Great, uh, that's a great question. And uh, let me just uh, clarify that for you. Infra product TPMs partner with product and infra teams to drive and manage product facing systems. Like uh, mentioned earlier, they drive impact and identify focus areas. The current focus areas include augmented reality, virtual reality, events and launches, WhatsApp, Messenger, real-time infrastructure, privacy, security, and integrity infra. Uh, this is a blend of two because as a product TPM, you're interacting with product teams. As an infra TPM, it's more towards the backbone and the network. Infra product TPMs, they partner with product and infra teams. Just want to make sure I drive that point out here. Next, we come to Facebook Reality Lab TPMs. This is the third type of TPMs at Facebook. Let's look at what are the different divisions and product groups. So to be able to understand the Facebook Reality Labs team, what I've gone ahead and done is shared the different divisions and product groups. Let's go through the divisions to understand what is it that Facebook Reality Lab TPMs do. The first one is research. So pioneers research into new technologies to solve difficult technical challenges for augmented reality, virtual reality products. There are different product groups which are aligned to this specific division. For example, we have the brain computer interface team, the codec avatars team, and the social presence team. So if you're following basically Facebook or recently in the news, you've seen that there's a metaverse discussion going along. There is an avatars team which goes ahead and builds avatars. And this specific team or the division is uh, focused towards those product groups, building new avatars and uh, coming up with different um, social presence in that direction. The second division is devices. Now these teams focus on all products and influence our hardware devices from initial concept through mass production. So the different product groups are hardware engineering and operations and product TPMs Infra TPMs are not part of this group. There is a different FRL TPMs group, which is part of this group. 
The next one is Oculus, and I will take that in addition with Portal. I will couple that because again, they both are hardware devices. So Oculus is specifically a virtual reality transforming the way people play, work, and communicate more evenly around the world. There are different product groups like the virtual reality platform, social experiences, work experiences on the Oculus, how to improvise that. And the FRL TPMs as part of these product groups are working with the PMs and EMs in this team to make sure that the roadmaps are planned accordingly to deliver the goals for the Oculus roadmap. Likewise for Portal, which is last on this list here, it's a wise enabled product. And for some of you who might have used it, you might be familiar with it. But for some of you who are not, um, it's very similar when we say it can be like, hey, portal, you know, and then the device wakes up. So these are voice enabled products for the home that provide customers with hands free video calling and content sharing. So definitely check it out. It's a really cool device. I have been using it since quite some time and I really find it helpful. Uh, the FRL TPMs within the portal team, they orchestrate the planning, execution and delivery of portal products. And again, like all the three different accesses are required, leadership, XFN collaboration, and technical skills. We'll come to augmented reality, AR, which is a world in which augmented reality devices give users superpowers. The different product groups within this area are wearables, Spark, and CTRL control groups. We have XR, which is a platform within FRL division, and building the common platform and shared technologies that powers the AR, VR, and portal devices. There are different product groups within this division, and uh, that's Assistant, XROS, and XR Tech. So all these different divisions um, have different product groups, and FRL TPMs are growing uh, as part of this team tremendously, and there is a growth pattern seen in this team as well. So this is a flavor of the different divisions and product groups within FRL. TPM group. Uh, this is the final lot. In addition to product TPMs, infra TPMs, and FRL TPMs, there is a group of enterprise engineering TPMs. These TPMs work on different programs that are cross-functional, complex, and result in high impact. These are primarily internal products, and they are masters at facilitating ensuring that they partner with business and service owners to implement new functionality. And they work with multiple teams to determine what is needed and have a flawless execution. The current focus areas for enterprise engineering include enterprise engineering security and privacy, enterprise engineering infrastructure, enterprise products, people engineering, m &A, which is mergers and acquisitions, and enterprise engineering reliability. Um, this is not a different type of TPM, but this is a group of TPMs to be aware of in case you're interested in specifically being part of the enterprise engineering team at Facebook. Thank you. So like we've summarized the different type of TPM roles at Facebook, uh, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. I've shared my profile out here. And in case of any specific questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Wishing you all the very best in your TPM journey uh, at Facebook and do check out the different series that Facebook and Product School are building across for TPM education at Facebook. Thank you.